I loved fencing. I took to it almost immediately. Which stunt from the first season of Wednesday left you wondering how they did it? And did you know that Jenna Ortega did many of her own stunts herself? Let's dive in. I was literally in the stunt gym every morning when I wasn't filming for seven months. Number one, where did you learn how to claw like a werewolf? At Werewolf Boot Camp, of course. Emma Myers has a fairly athletic background as it is, being not only a dancer, but a figure skater and a gymnast as well. And for her role as Wednesday's roommate, Enid, she had to spend every morning that she wasn't filming training in a stunt gym for about seven months, with one session even lasting as long as four hours. Me? and a couple other guys crawling around on the floor, growling at each other. It sounds to us that Emma might have gotten a taste of how the actor playing Thing felt, crawling on the floor. Don't worry, we'll get to that soon. That was weird, I'll never forget that. Number two, there was plenty of flying about on harnesses on this set. Most of the aerial stunts were performed by trained stunt actors, like Jenny Ayumi Umhau. For the scene where Rowan throws Wednesday back into a tree, Jenny was jerked back on ropes following a count of three, two, one, go! A soft pad was tied around the trunk for safety, but Jenny still had to perform this stunt multiple times. And once Callum Ross stepped out of frame, Jenny would then be dropped to the ground. Three, two, one, drop! Number three. To portray the hide, stunt performer Daniel Hemshoot had to act on stalks and crutches. When discussing the difference between a stunt performer and a stuntman, Daniel said that a lot of it really boils down to a physical theater, sort of physical acting ability. And he would know, Daniel also served as stunt double for Garrett Gates during his fight scenes, which he described as being uncomfortable, considering he was standing under a heavy rain rig in the Romanian winter. Number four, would you have guessed Thing was performed by a real actor? Tim Burton insisted on finding someone who could play the part, and so they brought in magician Victor Dorobantu, who was surprisingly skilled in contorting himself into uncomfortable positions wearing a full VFX suit. It's pretty hard to find movements that can express feelings. Victor had to work closely with the VFX team to make sure that his whole body could easily be edited out of the final product, and at one point, he even had to perform underwater. Number five, the entire cast had to learn how to canoe. Behind the scenes videos show that it wasn't an easy process either, as the boat can be seen capsizing. Don't drink the water. Joy Sunday recalls having to wake up as early as 5.30 to train with a team of 20 stunt people. She said that racing against each other was grueling before going on to describe how her boat sunk in cold water on the second day of filming, stating, I'm also not the best swimmer. My body just like froze up, but I was also laughing. It was hysterical the whole time. Number six, think you could catch Frisbee like a werewolf? To do this, stunt actor Maxime Coulon had to jump on a trampoline to catch a Frisbee midair between his teeth before performing an aerial roll and landing on safety mats provided for him during rehearsals. But on the actual day of filming, the only thing he'd have to land on would be the grass. Maxime also served as the stunt double for Callum Ross, and behind the scenes videos show him laughing through everything. Number seven, Jenna Ortega is a perfect fit for the daring Wednesday Adams. She's become known for doing as many of her own stunts as possible. Having once told Wired, I give stunt coordinators such immense anxiety. Jenna spent roughly two months training in fencing before filming even began. And by the end of it, she'd gotten so good that her fencing teacher apparently told her she could have had a future in the Olympics. Not to brag though, I'm not saying I'm this great fencer, but I, I kinda mean... am. Number eight, you might recognize Jenny as Wednesday's stunt double. This South African dancer, stuntwoman, and former Cirque du Soleil artist stepped in for Jenna Ortega on some of her more gravity-defying stunts. And she apparently had a great time while on set, describing herself as grateful for the experience. One behind-the-scenes video shows Jenny scaling a drainpipe on wires, wearing a smile that looks a little strange on Wednesday, but maybe she's only smiling because she's performing death-defying stunts? Number nine, Jenna Ortega wasn't the only one who had to learn how to fence. Joy Sunday began her training roughly one month before filming. She worked with a Romanian instructor who she described as being very intense at first, but she said that he really softened up, especially because I really got into it and enjoyed it. He was so passionate about it, so I took it immediately. For her more dangerous stunts, stuntwoman Phaedra Sindel stepped in, who Sunday has actually worked with before. She was her stunt double on Sunday's first ever TV job. 
Number 10. Brett Chan served as the stunt coordinator for Wednesday. He's best known for the way that he choreographs fight scenes, explaining his process by saying, I take into play the character's stature, like how big someone is, how thin someone is, and what they use. Then you take their characters and their temperament. This approach makes him the perfect person to choreograph stunts like Wednesday's fight scene in the diner, where Wednesday uses her calm and collected temperament and smaller stature to her benefit against bigger, aggressive bullies. The stunts on this first season have definitely given us reason to wonder how they'll manage to top this on the second. Which feat did you find to be the most impressive? Make sure to let us know down in the comments.